Hi, welcome to Rosie's Posies Designs and More. And today we're going to make a wrist corsage for um, prom in honor of prom 2020. So I've already started a little bit. We're gonna do, um, I have my little skinny wires uh, taped. I have ribbon, two kinds actually, a glittery gold and a turquoisey green. I have my wristlet, some rhinestones, and my flowers. I've already done two bows already, where, so I'm just a little bit ahead. So I'm gonna make my last two bows, which I'll do, I'm gonna do the gold on top. I'm just gonna do a solid uh, gold glitter bow. Wire twist the bow. Okay, so here's where we're going to build the ribbons together to attach to the wristlet. So I have my four bows here. I'm gonna start with, I think I'm gonna start with this green one, and then I'm gonna do the one with the gold on top. And we're just gonna set them like that where they're gonna start staggering down. And then I'm gonna do the next one with the green shear on top and the gold on bottom and we'll just stagger it down you just I just pinch it in my hand and I'll do the gold bow last to just kind of taper it down I'm going to take my corsage tape and I'm just going to tack it together because then after I tack it just do a couple of spins I'm going to trim the wires on on it. So see here, it's all together. I'm just gonna trim it and little short lengths. And now I'm gonna tape it together. Okay, so we have it all taped together. I'm going to bend the wires to the back of the ribbon. And now I'm going to take my wristlet and I'm going to attach it. So I'm going to attach the top part in between the two top ribbons. And the bottom part, I'm going to hook it together right here. Catch the wires that are bent. Now, if the girl you're making your corsage for has a, and then I'm just gonna readjust here real quick. There we go, see, now they're all. If the girl you're making has little skinny wrists, I like to take a piece of the lighter ribbon and feed it through the corsage, through the wires here, and tie it in the back. So now all they can do, now they, they just have to do is you can put their wrist in here and then just tie it on the bottom and um, it'll hold it 
all upright. So now it's time to glue your flowers in. So I'm gonna use uh, the Oasis Floral Adhesive Glue, um, which is holds really, really well. And I'm gonna use um, some variegated pit. I'm gonna use probably about three pretty petals and I'm going to just trim them down just a little bit with my scissor. And I'm gonna take the glue and just put a little dab on the back, cover the end there. And the trick with the glue is to um, have it sit for just a couple of, just a couple of, you know, seconds to get good and tacky. I'm gonna do the same with the rose that I'm gonna use. Make sure you cover that all up and I'm gonna let that sit. And I'm also going to use some white Ostromeria. I think I'm only, only going to use three of these, four. I'll pull the pollens out of the center here. And now I'm going to add a little bit of glue to that as well. them set for a couple of minutes or a minute at least a minute okay so now it's time to put your greenery in and I'm just gonna tuck the greenery in tucks right here, just tuck it in just a little bit. And now your rose should be good and set up, so now I'm gonna insert it right in the center of the ribbons. Sometimes you have to give it a little hold, but see it's pretty sturdy right there. Now I'm gonna add the Ostromeria. baby's breath just to give it a little fill in. I don't always make it um, set up for the baby's breath because it's just so tiny and fine it sets up on its own. So I'm going to add the rhinestones and I'm also going to do a gold bouillon wire. Um, I'm going to make leaves though out of this little fine wire. So I'm just going to cut a little stretch. I'm going to make a loop and then twist. And then I'm going to give the end of the loop a pinch like that and it makes a little gold leaf or a butterfly wing. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make three of those. this one a little 
short cut and I'm going to twist the end up so we can have something for the glue to catch on to. Give it a good little smear of glue. Just insert in. Some guy a little bit shorter. Insert him. And the last one. Alright, I add a little bit of rhinestone because you can't ever have too much rhinestones or too much glitter. So we're gonna just give a little bend on the end of that, catch our glue again. Okay, now I do have a bigger rhinestone that I am using here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, cut it to the length desired, and then I'm going to bend it again, a little bit of glue, and I'm going to insert it right here with this other one. There we go. We have a little wrist corsage for prom. 